Hello everybody, and I'm going to show you my season DVDs and my uh, miscellaneous DVDs. I might have to split this in parts, but, you know, let's get started. Okay, so first I have the complete season one DVD of Spongebob. Now, just get that out of the way, I do have the first 100 episodes, but, you know. Anyway, as I'm saying, um, here's um, uh, season one Spongebob, a nice artwork, especially back, which looks nice. Two. And then there's the disc. So here's disc one with SpongeBob. Disc two with SpongeBob and disc three with Pat, a boy Pat. Um. Anyway. <laughs> so um. Uh, then here's the complete season two. You know. And then this one has episode list. If you want to read it, you can pause and read it. It's amazing. Like, anyway. I recommend getting the first hundred episodes because that one has the three different endings to Shanghai, and they don't do that on season two for some reason. Here is um, the complete season three of SpongeBob. You know, basically showing the Kyrie Pat and you know episode list in case if you want to pause if you want to read it. Actually, you don't need to see this, it's bone gray looking, but... I showed you the artwork on this disc, since this disc is actually, um, uh... Is, um, uh... With artwork. I'll only show you the disc if they have artwork. Here's a complete fourth season. Read it again. I'm gonna pause if you want to read. Here was the complete season five. Again, pause if you want to read them. Anyway, so. Out of the way. Here's a complete sixth season. Amazing. And as you can see, episode list here. I guess if you want to read them. Okay. Here is the complete seventh season. And there's episode list inside the like, thing. I say the artwork looks nice. I mean, SpongeBob felt different after season three. You know, after the first movie. Anyway, season eight. You know, nice. Again, episode list. You can pause if you want to read. I think on disc three, they did a lot of three parted episodes. Hang on, hang on. I got it. I gotta get the DVDs, um, and like, hold on guys, hang on. And then now in a miscellaneous, so here's, of course you have to have the Spongebob movie, as you can see right there. A pretty, um, cute and funny movie. So there's Spongebob there, and there's the movie, the movie it tells you. Um, uh, for some reason it's PG for some reason, and so this one has artwork as I want to show you. And I loved how they used like a yellow case, well obviously probably because it's, you know, it's Spongebob movie, they gotta show the artwork stuff. So then, um, here's the second movie, and I can't wait for the third movie, which, a little hint, the third Spongebob movie will be an origin story of how the characters met. Although it might go up against something that we already wanted in season one. Anyway. Sponge Buddies not a good nonsense. As you can see the DVD. Because we need proof. Um uh someone whipped it off and I had to remake the cover. Here was the Sponge of Halloween DVD. And now um yes I do have the original version. For some reason the DVD actually got lost, so that's why you can see the reissue version right there. And I will show that one off, but and the and the DVD's still in though, because you know I learned from my mistakes. So a few of them I lost, and I learned from my mistakes. So the DVD's still in this one. I just bought it again just because you know, you know I just wanted to. Anyway, T 
Tales from the Deep, so he was Spongebob. And that stuff, and then... I tell you one you should and don't have to pick up. You should pick up this one, and you should pick up this one. And I'd say you should pick up this one, since it does have some Tales from the Deep stuff, as you can see. Right there. Um, I hope, like, people are watching this. And I do have a little... Like, Anyway, so then he was lost at sea. You know, showing SpongeBob on cover. And by if you look at this, you'd think that there'd be Flying Dutchman episodes, but no, the only episode that features a Flying Dutchman is your shoes untied. Anyway, so then showing you that, and then there was you know, nice DVD. I got the DVDs because. On VHS, so separated, I thought it'd be a lot more easier to get the DVDs. SpongeBob goes prehistoric. This was a fun um, DVD to watch over and over again. It was really funny, and that's actually SpongeBob goes prehistoric is one of my mom's favorite episodes. There's time to seek, and then you know, like actually like. DVD, because if you want to see, just hold on. Home Sweet Pineapple, looks pretty nice. Yeah, it looks nice. Some of these, you know, lost a couple, so I had to, like, you know, we show it and we, like, tape it on people. And I always take care of the DVDs since I learned from my mistakes. The Absorbing Favorites. Oh yeah, by the way, you should pick up those. You should pick up all those. And you should pick up this one. Yeah. Crap. And you should pick up this one too since it really it really shows a bunch of good episodes. It's, just, it's a lot of fun. But I got scratch my nose. Hang on. I know it's weird, but... And, but And then here's um, uh, you know, ten happiest moments, which you should pick up this one since you know it features a lot of happy moments. And then here's um, uh, lost in time. So here you go. There's that. Um, like there are a few um episode. There were a couple of bad episodes in this DVD, in my opinion, like the. Enemy in law, that was not a really good episode, but you know, so you know, you 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 ain't really gotta pick this one up. You ain't really got to, but that's okay. I mean you ain't really gotta get it. You don't really have to pick it up. Here was um Pest of the West. Pretty nice DVD. Um, Pat No Pay and the Crusty Plate, those were good episodes. And then here was the, um, no DVD you can collect in the artwork. I'm so surprised that some of these have artwork. And then here was the Scorpions of the Scorpions. I remember getting this as a, like, a birthday present or something like that. And these episodes are good. Well, almost these episodes. Like, the Splinter was a good episode, but it was kind of painful to watch SpongeBob with the Splinter. And, whoa, how'd this video already get to nine minutes? So let's quickly finish before we run out, like, like time here. There's not a certain time, but here's the plot in Mini Movie. Which basically, you know, I only picked it up because I don't think you can find these shorts in any of these other DVDs and here's there's here's this big box set which has as you guessed it Viking size was good um SpongeBob the Last Stand was okay um trying to avenge that was a really bad episode not good um uh, here was well of a birthday to the school and who Bob wore pants who Bob wore pants was kind of okay just like some of them are okay. 
I mean, so, you ain't really, you don't really have to pick this one up either. You ain't really gotta pick up some paint on the front. And then, last but not least, here's my, shows the Halloween DVD, as I said, I was gonna show it off. And here's the other one. And then, last but not least, Spongebob's Christmas. The one that I recently got yesterday. Alright, goodbye.